This is what we call a 142, which is built by our other brand, TLC. And TLC just does vintage Toyota Land Cruiser everything, anything. So it's kind of confusing, but it's a so 1989 FJ62 featuring a GM E-Rod Smog Certified LS3, but built on a FZJ8097 chassis. So mm -hmm. you have ABS, coilover with Fox Racing and sleek components, full-time four-wheel drive, front rear lockers. It's essentially my, my but 420 horse. Underneath. Yeah. Yeah. Just with power. Yeah, with, yeah. with you know, a lot more. So it's smoother, and better handling. And all that stuff. Yeah, and super like under the radar sleeper. This Not is a cool cutting one. corners. Look at this butt. It's like the best ass in the business. Well, Except no, for the 911. 30, in mine. Or a 37 Zephyr or 37 Nash. Yeah, that's true too. But so this is a 47 Lincoln Club Coupe, original paint, obviously a derelict, running a Coyote. Raymond Lowy, the folklore is, designed these door handles. And he wasn't working for Ford at the time, so that they were never like directly attributed. So good. So cool. It's so good. And Look then, at the uh, tooling, man. Yeah. So actually, no, I cheated. I, I see oh, you bought the it. stamp, uh, uh, an embossing roller. So this that's is so uh, smart. steamed and embossed. That's why I was like, man, that's crazy. I'm properly tooling crazy. the hand tooling, the uh, 75 uh, Cherokee we're building. Such, I love these, they're so pretty. And the cool, we bought this from the original owner, finally giving it up as he went into a senior care facility and he sent me snail mail with some Polaroids and said, I want it to go to you guys because I know it'll be enjoyed and stay on the road. And become something. And we were yeah. honored. I blind bought it from the Polaroids. And I know what this is, but we should, can yeah. we talk about it? Yeah, we can talk about right. it. Right. So this is um, kind of a, Client funded test mule. So fortunately a great client we've built several vehicles for came to me with an idea that dovetailed with a stupid idea that you and I have been talking about yeah. for years. So it's a different approach to building a derelict or what any icon instead of hemorrhaging money and time engineering and designing and sourcing and hundreds of purchase orders per vehicle. On this we actually took a brand new 2020 I think 2500 WT 4x4 Chevy pickup right. and rebodied it with its grandfather's body. So <laughs> this is basically in the test phase where we're gonna put about a thousand miles on it, make sure all the complicated electronics network still thinks it's in its native yeah. body. Mm -hmm. Um, which so far so good. We only have three uh, codes in the system. But so like I noticed inside, I really love the dash. It's uh, super it's good. You did a good job. Yeah, yeah you like that yeah, zip tied IP. Really it's pretty sexy. We'll huh? come back to that. That's so a, that next we'll redesign the dash and SLA samples and then machine everything. But oh for God. now we're just making sure the electronics function. But like we're going to take that little data screen from the ugly mm -hmm. modern Solus plastic dash, yeah. integrate it into the original C10 style. All right create a center IP drop down that takes that 70 design language, but allows a home for all the modern switch gear. And like we were on the fence, like do we machine vintage style tactile switches right. and take apart the modern, but then the client screwed for serviceability. So we're just gonna do a sexy retro package. Yeah. And those black plastic switches will hopefully just disappear. Yeah, the idea is to make it so you can still yeah, because I want the whole yeah. point is to yeah, yeah, not throw on the cul de yeah. This yeah. one you know. Yes, I I'm love it. Suffering. I've never been under it though. Oh, so yeah, underneath is pretty wild. It's, it's still killing so you. So this huh? is a 49 Mercury original paint. The James Dean made the body style famous, like old school hot rod star. So this is reimagined with four wheel independent Tesla uh, P80 battery array, dual electric motors, transmissionless, freight train fast. Uh, no shifts, so I mean it's just torque, 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 torque. Uh, electric boosted Brembo's, electric power steering, and like crazy tech. So pioneering thermal management, not just for batteries, but for controllers and for motors. Full can networked, um, electrically simulated limited slip effect for like basically our version of ludicrous mode. Really. Um, it takes municipal charging or fast charge. One's hiding under the front license plate. 
then the other one is hiding in the factory fuel fill. It's 50-50 or 25-25-25-25 25 weight layout with Tesla arrays spread out everywhere. Really? And then the engine bay is all unnecessarily sexy and machined and kind of retro hiding. So this is actually the motor. Correct. And so this, this is what I've seen up top is van wow. for the motor one plus one. Okay. To this it's monster absurd drive shaft because this bugger spins at eleven thousand RPM. So it has to be perfectly balanced and extremely strong. So Dana sixty apart. nodulars right. so it can handle instant on torque. Wow. Full independent cradle. Wow. Uh, and on and on. I mean, this is bad shit. I wouldn't even know where to start with something like this. This is a so far beyond me. Six-year project, Asimov, and it's still here because once I start doing EVs, which I have, I'm only kind of dipping my toe. And we've done right. three. This being the revolutionarily high-tech version, the science is moving so fast that before I'm even done, there's two generations better capability from the same supplier. So since we talked the other day, now you're going to continue instead of just pull, pull, well, Back pulling up, the plug, continue. so to speak, and saying, nope. let's arrive it. Back Let's... up, pull it out. Reinhardt makes a better Wegemanjigit that now has, you know, dash sevens or whatever. Oh, shit. Yeah, so how much has he actually driven this car? I mean, I, of course he drove He's it. only put maybe 100 miles on it. I've put like 25 but he's satiated, so he's yeah. satiated enough. Yeah, so. he's good. I mean, he yeah. totally gets it. And I warned him coming in that, like, oh. I can never give hard time or money, but you're getting into EV. I want to do it like this, whereas the industry is going mm -hmm. DIY dumb down or yeah. tier one. I want to bridge the two. Okay. So I can't, your total guinea pig. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're. Yeah. And you're if at the I mercy didn't know the guy, I would have never even gone mm -hmm. there. This is a lot more together than the last time I saw it. It was just yeah. A, this is getting really close now. It was just the chat. This thing's the, so badass. So, and uh, wasn't there a cage inside? That was just for bracing. That until was bracing. We built that's the new right. Floors. I remember because this originally is a unibody car, and now it's a four lane independent full ladder frame. So we had to gut it, do crazy spider cage, um, and then handcraft all the floor. Didn't Armin do a nice job on it? He got a little carried away. Cage, yeah. Yeah. Just spent a couple months on it. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's got magnets. LS9, supercharged, Brembo's, rack and pinion, yada, yada, yada. This one is even more under the radar than our normal derelicts. It's like we completely redesigned the dash, the armrest, the rear seat, every knob. Every I'm even switch, looking at the 3D printed HVAC, HVAC uh, vents for the Yeah, so those we actually can flow model now. So we were able to do the AC in a manner that hides within what looks like the factory oh, under dash. Yeah. But the flow rate and everything will be higher because you're, you're using a simulator yeah. essentially. And then we redo, right. redid all the zebra wood. We had to completely reshape and design that rear seat because of our monster rear end and independent yeah. suspension. The whole we had to reshape frame. the stock 6.4 badge on the back. We stole the original design language, oh, it's and then we're machining it and putting it right back on. But now it'll reflect the displacement of our current system. Yeah, it's open. Is it should it? be. Oh man. So then, um, wow. electronics, storage, fix the flat, battery built into these custom trays, which will get patinaed out. I'm taking the original leather. And gonna as a gift, I'm hand making them a tool roll. Okay. In the original leather that'll sit here dead center. Cool thing with our clients that we never anticipated. Over 35% of icon clients have two or more, and a significant number of them have like six or more. Three. Wow. Which is crazy. Repeat this price clients. point, I thought like yeah. one and done. We never hear from nope. them again. <laughs> Now is the time of video where most people ask for money or donations or whatever. I'm not going to ask you for that. What I'm going to say to you is, if you want to see more videos and you want to learn more of what we've learned, and you want to see a deep dive into a lot of these topics, go to our website and buy something. We sell everything from motorcycle gear, helmets, uh, motorcycle parts, specialized tools. We sell lots of things and they've all taken us years to figure out what the best stuff is and we figured it out. So go to revivalcycles.com. There's some really good stuff there, everything from like kick-ass hand grips from Posh to Radiance LED lighting and everything in between. We want to teach you what we know, but this stuff takes time and it takes real effort to make these videos and make them good for you guys. So go support us by helping yourself to the cool stuff you already need. And it helps us because we make a little bit of profit and then we can justify doing more videos. Thanks for your support.